Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to look at the best way of doing a collaborative workflow in InDesign. This is the closest method I could find to have a collaborative workflow in InDesign in which multiple people work towards a single master file. If you find that there is a better way, please mention it in the comments below and let's have a chat in the comment section below. Okay, diving straight into the video, we'll be using a plugin today called Layout Zones. So Layout Zone lets you quickly select several InDesign page elements or frames and automatically convert them to a placed InDesign file for editing outside the master document. So once external editing is complete, a seamless round trip workflow automatically converts the linked InDesign file back into native objects into the master file that you are working. So essentially you can split the file into different pages and multiple people could work on those different pages externally and it all combines into one master file. So let's quickly open up our browser, I'll walk you through how to download the program, where you can find it and the installation process and we can move into InDesign and see how the plugin works directly in InDesign. So I already have the file open, so the plugin is a free plugin that's by this site called Automatication and it's called Layout Zones. And you can quickly download it from this link here. So if I click download now, you'll get a zip file that's downloaded directly into your downloads folder. And let's open it up. So I click show in folder. I'll open up the location here and I'll extract the file right here. Once that's done, what you need to do is you need to copy this extracted folder called layout zone. Hit control C or click copy. Go to your local disk C, go to program files, click on Adobe and click on Adobe InDesign, this one right here. Open up your scripts folder and paste it right here. So I'm not gonna paste it because I already have it installed. You see that I've already pasted it here. And make sure before you paste it into this location, your Adobe InDesign is closed so that the installation process is successful. Now, after you paste it, you can open up InDesign and let's see how the plugin looks in InDesign. Now in InDesign, you can find the Layout Zone plugin in the Edit tab right here. It's called Layout Zones and you have a couple of options available in the Zone plugin, which we'll go through shortly. So I've just made a quick template document over here with two pages. And let's say that you want somebody else to work on the second page right here. So what we need to do is we can just quickly select page that we want to be in another InDesign document and link inside this master document. Click on Edit and hit layout zone and click on assign zone. Now you need to give a page name for this zone that you're creating. So let's call this as page two, since I'm exporting the second page. And you, you can save it wherever you want and click on save. And once you've done that, you get these options directly from the layout zone script. So you can either save the selection here or you can select the page as a whole. So let's try the page option and I don't want to save the page one, I want to save page two and you can leave all of the other ones in the default settings as well as we don't have any locked objects or objects in an invisible layer. And let's click OK. So what that does is that it converts your native InDesign text files and fields that you had in your file into another InDesign document. So if we go back to our folder, we can see that we have another InDesign document called page two which has been saved directly out from a master file and into a separate InDesign file. So if we open that up, we can see that that's another InDesign file in itself. Now this is the InDesign file that's linked back into the master file. So I can quickly make any edits here. So let's change the shape of this uh, rectangular shape. I will elongate this one. And let's even change the shape of this text box as well. And now if I hit file and save, I could keep this file open or close the file. You can see that we have automatically got an error sign here telling us to update the modified link. So if I click on this, you see, can see that the link has automatically been updated. Now I can close the file right there and I can convert this back into native objects in the master file. This is one of the big benefits of using layout zones. So if I select the linked InDesign file, go to edit, go to layout zone and click on convert zone. It brings up the convert zone options. So I want it to be as an original and not have it as a group. So if you want all of these items to come back in as a group, you can select the second option. If you want to paste it into another page, you can select the third option. I'll just keep it in the first option and click OK. Now you see that all the text boxes and the shapes have come back in as original native elements. 
So you can do this for as many pages as you want. So you can split up the pages into multiple InDesign files depending upon the different team members working on the file. I hope this video helped you and let me know if you think there are other ways in which multiple people can work in a single InDesign file. This is the closest method that I have found. I hope this video helped you guys and see you in the next video.